Hey, what's up, everybody? It's week six. You made it this far. There is no turning back now. Once you've made it to week six, you already know that you have the power to succeed. I feel such a complete difference in my body and my mind. Week six is about finalizing your sustainability. What's gonna happen after you finish the very last workout of this program? There's a moment of validation that comes when you run through the finish line. Come on, guys, go, 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 go. I can do this. And I wasn't even working out as much as them. I lost weight. Lost inches, body fat. This is great. It's such a great day when you can celebrate your success. We committed, we climbed, we conquered. Congratulations because you are in a sustainability phase never to go back again. Transform 20! Conquer your mind, transform your life. You have to expect the unexpected. If you commit, you go to another place. Just keep saying yes. This is your climb. Are you going to step in front of the mirror and say, I'm ready to transform? This is the final week of Transform 20, but not the final week of your life. For the last, what, five weeks? We are in week six. You have been going through with me here in this place, in this set. But now it's time for you to take your journey to the next level. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to push you, but in a way that you probably don't think. I'm going to push you in a way that reminds you of how you walked into week one. Remember in week one, and you were like, oh my gosh, like, this is so hard. You're probably looking at the step and being like, what do I do? and then eventually you started getting more comfortable. Well, we're kind of gonna go back in time. A few tweaks of the moves, we're gonna go back in time so that you can really put your transformers into action and into motion so we can compare those numbers. I've always said it's not about the weight, it's about the baggage you carry in your life, and I hope you release the baggage so you can continue to rise up. Now, let's see if the cast is ready to go. Are y'all ready to go? Let me tell you something. This workout is gonna mimic week one with some things, you know what I'm saying, some things, because your transformations are going to reflect your change. I think that was a brilliant idea because then it enabled us to see how much we've grown over the past six weeks. Go, come on. Come on, guys, go, 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 go. You need to destroy this number. Count, destroy it, come on. I beat my numbers by a lot from week one, and I feel really good about it. I have improved so much, which is crazy because going into week one, I would have never thought I would have got the numbers that I've got in week six. Go, faster, 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 faster with control, that's it. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with my numbers from week one to week six. These are amazing, almost like 20 plus each number. Again, comparing yourselves to yourselves, it's not just about the weight. We have to stop chasing weighted numbers and chase numbers that we produce for ourselves, which is what those transformers are about. Part of this process for me with my goals was not only to get into shape, obviously, but to improve my footwork and push myself to do things I've never done before, like an exercise class. About two and a half years ago when I got sick, I finally got off my medication and I wanted to get better, but I was really out of shape and I was intimidated to go to like a class or anything. And I saw this thing on TV and uh, went ahead and I bought this thing called Size. When did you buy this? June 10th, 2016, and I was too intimidated to use it, too intimidated to open it. At some point, I was going to tackle this, and little did I know that fate would bring me here to you personally. Oh my gosh, And that's I would amazing. love it if you would sign this for me. Absolutely. Are you gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. In a way, it was kind of meant to be that Sean T was gonna change my life one way or the other. You helped me realize my full potential. Yeah, oh. Physically and emotionally. But so I'm grateful for that. That's what it's about. Yeah, like, it really is. Maximizing your potential. And you're awesome, uh, so I, I'm very grateful for you. I'm grateful for you too. Thanks, Sean. That's so nice. Nice. Oh my gosh. Uh-uh. You ain't gonna flap your little wrist in a race. You better go right down, right down. You're still taking too long. You better get back around here. In my head, I was doing it so fast and I wasn't taking a break, but he came over and yelled at me and said I was taking breaks. You blasting those numbers. We're comparing to week one, to the beginning of you. Compared to my week one faster, today I absolutely blew away all my numbers, which I was really proud of. I know personally, I was working. Boom, right here. All the sweat is dripping. <laughs> 
It is Stronger Wednesday, and now we're going in the mind. Yes, it says it, conquer your mind. For the first time ever in any workout, we are doing this silent. That means Sean T's voice will not be there for you. But your voice, the soundtrack of your life, has to come into play. At first, before we worked out in complete silence, I thought it was a joke. Once we were in the workout, I actually really enjoyed it. It made me, like, really freaking focus. <laughs> Working out in silence was pretty awful. Super awkward to hear everyone's exhales. I was really just thinking, this is me pushing myself right now. And this is exactly what being sustainable in our movement and in our drive is about. I hated the fact that I was gonna have to do this because I have a really hard time not talking. <laughs> And I'm not trying to get like deep and emotional here, but I, as a kid, you know, being sexually abused, I would go to my closet and I would like sit in silence. I hate silence because I used to like live in that space, you know? So today was the first time where I was like, oh my gosh, like it's, it feels really good to, to like just hear myself breathe and accept that and be like, it's okay. It's okay to be silent, you know? It's okay to, like, really talk to yourself. You don't have to talk all the time. It's, it, and so I was, like, wondering, like, why, why is it so hard to be quiet? I just had a vision of, like, being in that closet as a kid. And so today I feel like I broke the silence. And I was like, I even went to another level of conquering my mind. So I want to say, you know, thank you. Because I'm not going to lie, we tease you for breathing, but I was like, there was a lot of peace in me hearing you breathe. Because I was like, okay, there's still somebody there. You know, like, there's still somebody there, you know? It just brings back <laughs> memories from when I was in foster care. So, for me, <laughs> that's why I don't like being in silence. So. And it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's just, it's heavy. But, so that's why I say like transformation is sustainable and it doesn't matter like how great you are. There's things that like you can always work. Like people look at me and like, oh, you got it all together. Like I wrote a book, I talked about it, but there's still things you find about yourself and why you do it. And so now I'm like, it just felt really good to like, to like beat that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's always hard to see your leader and just be vulnerable, but it does mean that you have a lot of trust um, for the people around you and that you feel that you're in a safe environment. So I'm glad that we've even created that for him. It's okay to sit down, tie your shoes, make sure they're nice and tight, because I don't need you getting injured. She has a very sweet soul, but I need her to get aggressive. Go, find it, find it, find it, find it. There you go, come on, push. I feel like I have so much ammunition to move forward in life. I've pushed myself in ways I've never been <laughs> pushed before. Look how so in control he's gone. Look at the form. I know for sure I'm gonna be able to sustain everything I learned. No smoking. I'm done smoking, so that's a uh, that's exciting. That's the that's the best part of it all. It is Fun Friday, and on Fun Friday, what do we do? We have fun. We have fun, and we <laughs> dance. And so, the burning question is literally: mm. Have you smoked? No. In six weeks. Woo! Yeah. Hey. So y'all know what that means. So let's go put on your favorite outfits and let's dance. And let's dance. Let's go. Welcome to Shaunathon. Are you ready to go? I hope so. Everything you've learned about yourself throughout this entire journey needs to come into play. Turns out, Shaunathon is a 60 minute workout. So 20 minutes of cut, 20 minutes of burn, and 20 minutes of powerful. All I gotta say is you got nine transformers today. Shaunathon was definitely a good test to see where I am physically and mentally. This is about you proving to yourself that when you think it's over, it's never over. The journey continues. It was good to do that workout. I feel like if I had done a 20 minute one, I wouldn't have like released everything I was feeling and just been bottling up again. And so it was good, it was good to sweat it out, I guess. 
Listen, guys, I know a lot of people out there thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm done. You are not done. You have to use this workout as a trampoline to propel yourself forward. My body has completely changed. I have cuts. I have cuts on my body, which is so crazy. I, uh, I'm so surprised at how much my body has changed with only a 20 minute workout. These are my abs. I'm glad to have them. I'm very happy with my results. I'm shocked that there is this much of a difference. I really didn't expect it. Yes, Becca, got that hair down. If that's what you like to look at in the mirror, if that's the one good thing, you go to that. Come on. I've seen my arms get really defined, something I'm excited about. Day one, I had a very negative self-image. So I've definitely gotten better about it. Um, there has been things where I'm like, OK, like my arms have changed. Like that, me acknowledging that is a big step. My abs, I can see them. My number one goal when I came here was stop smoking, and I did it. This entire transformation was about your journey, where you started, where you want to go, being aware of the things that's been holding you back. See this in my arms, how cut up I am? My legs are so much smaller. You can even see my little, um, my, my, my veins. Oh my gosh, the craziest part of it is it's only 20 minutes, and it changed my body that much. So one thing that I've noticed that I've gained, which I'm really excited about, are those booty gains that we all want these days. So yeah, she's expanded a little bit in all the right areas, not in the lower part, but just a nice, nice anti-gravity lift. It's nice to like let go of stuff. I feel that Transform 20 has kind of pushed me into a state of vulnerability that has caused me to open up and it feels good to open up. I had not talked about things for a really long time. You've learned over the last six weeks that you have to push. Transform 20 has got me in the best shape of my life. I appreciate the results more because I was the one that was pushing myself and I wasn't really doing it for someone else. I can really see it in my face. So I have my cheekbones back, kind of have more of a jawline. My waist is definitely smaller by a few inches. This isn't the end. There's so much more to the story. I've got more pounds to lose, more strength to gain, but I'm proud and I'm happy and I feel changed. I feel like a completely different person. When I started this journey, I was like, they want me to do what? You want me to shoot for six weeks straight? I just didn't think I could do it. But every single person here has had some sort of transformation. And to believe that I can guide you through a transformation, and I know, I know there's a lot of people out there that's like, Shanti, you changed my life. But there's a moment of validation that comes when you run through the finish line. You have to understand that you have conquered something that maybe you've never done before. I, I promise you, I promise you, if you just believe that you can do it, you will transform your life. Always, always trust and believe in who you are. One, two, three. Commit, climb, conquer, transform 20! Such an amazing episode, and I know you are doing amazing. This is it, the end of Transform 20, but that doesn't mean it's over for you. As you know, throughout this entire process, I've talked about sustainability. So how are you going to sustain? First and foremost, I would say do another round. It's only six weeks and it's only 20 minutes a day. 
And now that you've completed this program, I know you can do it again. You have to take your superpowers and you have to move them forward. So what did you learn about yourself throughout this process? And what will you continue to utilize as you continue to motivate yourself going forward? I know you can do it. And as you continue to do Transform 20 and do everything else you're doing, make sure you re-recognize the word cloud. Everything is on there to motivate and inspire you to push yourself to the next level of who you are. So I ask you, who are you? And I'm telling you, you will sustain and you will continue.